Purple Mash has a complete scheme of work for spelling which you may wish to use. It's located in the teachers area and it's the second icon at the top of the screen. The Purple Mash spelling scheme is a comprehensive program for years one to six with the aims of supporting teachers in teaching the statutory words and focuses over the course of the academic years from one to six. It will also assist teachers in assessing children's spelling on a weekly and termly basis and it provides children with a fun way to learn their spellings each week, either in school or at home. To start off, you can explore the key documents. This will allow you to see firstly how all of the spelling scheme has been structured, give you suggested ways in which you may wish to deliver it and set different tasks for your children. You can also access the year group overviews for spelling. In here, it will show a weekly breakdown for each half term throughout the year. And then you will have statutory coverage documents relating to the statutory requirements for each year group. And the first document has all year groups on one PDF for you to navigate through. Returning to the main spelling area, you'll be able to access your year group pages and from within here, you'll find all of the weekly breakdowns of spelling coverage and linked activities. For example, if I'm teaching year one and I'm currently in spring term one, I'll be able to access the year one spelling overview and statutory coverage, just like I could from the main resources area. And then for every week within this half term, I can find all of the resources and activities to use with my learners. Resources include a PowerPoint for every week. This allows you to demonstrate the focus. It allows you to also have some activities for the children to help reinforce their understanding of the new spellings. It has a link to the online quiz. And then there are some additional follow-up resources that you may wish to use as well. So these are ideal for either whole class, small group, or one-on-one -on -one resources. Back to Purple Mash, you have an online quiz which you can set for the children. These can be set as a to-do and just like following the normal structure, you can choose whether to set it to a class or a specific spelling group you may have set up. The quizzes allow children to be able to reinforce the look, cover, write, check method. So if you don't want children to be able to see the word first, you can choose that from the top option. And you can also select whether children will be dragging letter tiles or if they're going to be using the keyboard to enter their answers. Football. Children would be able to then type in their answers and see whether they're correct or not. If you would like to edit any of the quizzes, maybe for example you'd like to remove the timer or add your own voice recordings, click the stop button and then this allows you to navigate through. You may wish to reorder, delete, add or edit any of the pre-existing quizzes. If you want to share them as a to-do with your class, then it will just prompt you to save a version first. So for example, if I just call this year one, spring one spellings, then I can share this either as a to-do or via a QR code or embed code or a whole variety of different methods. Back to the resources for each week, there is a dictation activity which you can allow children to fill in the key spellings in context so they know the meaning of the word and each of these have an answer sheet as well. There is a look, cover, write, check that you may wish to print out for the children for them to either complete in school or at home. And then there are a set of flashcards for every week as well, which you may wish to you know, chop up and use as little revision cards or the children may wish to take them home or stick in their learning journal to help practice at home as well as at school. So all this information is found within your um, spelling resource area. And what's really useful is if you are setting any of the quizzes for the children to complete, all of that information can be easily accessed by you as a teacher to see how well the children have completed the task. When children complete a spelling quiz, they will be informed as to their scores. 
and at the point of getting an answer correct or incorrect. And what's really useful for you as a teacher is that if you set any spelling quiz as a to-do, then you can easily see the results for each child's outcome for their quiz. Clicking on the view data will allow you to see their score. But more importantly, if you want to further investigate how or why a child may have struggled with any particular spellings, if you click on the plus icon, it will show you which spellings were correct and it will show you their attempted misspellings, which will help you identify any common misconceptions or things that they're missing out. So it's great as a way to be able to help reinforce and understand how the children are learning and what you might need to work on. Finally, all the spelling data, as with all scores for all quizzes, are always kept in the data area. So if you're wanting to look back at a child's progress over time, click on the data tab at the top, click on scores and two quiz spelling, and it will show you all of the current spelling quizzes that are set for children. And you can drill down by class and by time frame as well. It's worth noting that you may have your school's own spelling scheme of work, but you may wish to utilise the quiz feature to incorporate that as part of your spelling practice and assessment. So within the English area on the Purple Mash home screen, if you just scroll down, we have actually got blank spelling quiz format that you can add your own spellings to. So when you click on this and select launch, it's a blank spelling quiz that you can add your own. You can type in all the words that you want to quiz the children on and again select where the children will be able to see the word, whether they will enter in using letter tiles or keyboard entry and you can make your own bespoke quizzes be able to view the data just like you can in the to do's area and the data section as well. So that's an extra option should you want to do it. If you've not created your own quizzes on Purple Mash before and you're curious to find out all the different features, just look for the film reel icon and there's lots of helpful guidance tutorials that will show you what to do. In this instance, I recommend clicking on the question type spelling video. It's three minutes long and it will show you how you can make spellings for your children.